Hey everybody, Mr. Morrell here, and we're going to do homework assignment 9.1. Um, this assignment is focused on dot plots and histograms. Um, dot plots should be pretty familiar with you guys, and histograms will not be difficult at all if you know how to make a bar graph. That's basically what it is, um, with a little bit more freedom. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. So like I said, you are mostly used to dot plots. Um, what's new here is histograms. And so, the idea of a histogram is it's kind of like taking um, a dot plot, but you want to put several columns of dots together into one box, is kind of the idea. So, for example, here on this dot plot, we have the columns 0 and 1. You can see there's three dots in each of those columns. And if we wanted to combine those into one bin, is what we would call it in a histogram, um, we would just look here at the 0 to 1 um, category and we would make a bin that is 6 tall and that shows you that you've got 6 pieces of data between 0 and 1. So if I want to fill in this 2 to 3 bin I'm just going to count here. I've got 3 dots here in the second column or column number 2 and how many? 6 over here at 3. So I add those together I get 9. So we want to make a bin that is 9 tall. And here, for the 4 and 5 column, we're going to count up the number of dots here. And it looks like we've got 4 dots there. And for the 6 and 7 bin, it looks like we've only got 1 dot there. So, there's a histogram made from a dot plot. Pretty exciting. Alright, let's go ahead and scroll up. So what you're going to see down here is actual data from the high temperatures as they were recorded in Tremont and for the month of January back in 2014. If I was a nice person I would have gone through and um, organized this data for you and updated it, but I'm not that nice. And kind of the way that this data is ordered is this was on the 1st of January, this was on the 2nd, the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, and so on. Not that that matters, but I just wanted you to know why they are listed in the order that they are listed. So, you guys know how to create a dot plot, I think. So, for example, if you wanted to um, plot this number here, you would just go onto your number line to the 37 and put one dot above that. And that shows that on one day, there was a temperature, a high temperature of 37. The next day, the high was at 24, so we would put a dot there. And then 31. And then 32. And so on. And, um... Yeah, that's basically a dot plot. If you have multiple dots, you're going to want to stack them one on top of the other. So I'm going to let you guys put in the dot plots because you know how to do that. All right, so for the histogram, what we need to do here is we need to count how many days were between 10 and 19. So let's scroll back up to the temperatures. And I'm going to kind of just look through the temperatures and see how many I can find that are between 10 and 19. And we've got this 17 here, so that's going to be 1. And I think that's it. So there was one day that had a temperature in that range. So let's go ahead and make a bar 1 tall. Now, for the 20 to 29, let's go ahead and count those. I'll use a different color. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I think I counted that right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So then we would make a bar that would be 16 tall, something like that. All right. So that's basically how you make a histogram. I usually color them in just so that they kind of stand out and it pops a little bit nicer and things like that. Let's go on to the next page. Level 3 is all about being able to read a histogram and understand what it's saying. And a big part of that is being able to understand the, the axes. So if you notice here on the side, we're seeing the number of students and the scores received. So what happened here is this is um, 
Mr. Moore Broody's classes all put together for their Unit 7 test scores. And, oh, I might change that to say Unit 8 since we're in Unit 9 now. It doesn't matter. Whatever. I'm making these before I've made copies of the worksheets, so there you go. Anyway, so the idea here is that we want to figure out the questions on the side. So question four, how many students took the test altogether? Well, if we want to know how many students took the test altogether, it would probably be a good idea to figure out how tall each of these bars are because the number of students that scored within these different scored ranges are shown by the heights of the bars. So, for example, here, five students scored zero to three. Ten students scored from four to seven. Um, Twenty-five scored here. Fifty students here. 65 students here, and 10 students here. So what we're going to want to do is just to go grab a calculator, and we're going to add all those numbers together. And if we add all those numbers together, I think, and maybe you're going to have to double check me on this. I'm kind of trying to do it in my head as I'm sitting here. I got 165. Okay, so now let's go ahead and skip down to question 9. How many students scored 16 points or more? Well, if we look here, we've got students who scored between 16 and 19 in this bin and 20 to 24 here. So we can just add those two numbers together, and I think the answer there would be 75. All right, so that is our pretty basic video about dot plots and histograms. I think it's pretty basic. The level four question is going to have you go online. Oh, I have updated this, though. Um, to check out the Jazz roster for the 2016 season and to fill out the heights and inches. Now, when I looked up the roster, it was telling me things like, this is not the right number here, but let's say that T. Booker was 6 foot 6 inches. We need to make sure that we convert this 6 foot 6 inches into just inches. So the way that you would do that is you would take your, in your feet number, so 6, multiply that by 12 because there are 12 inches in a foot and so like in this example that would be um, 72 so 6 feet is the same as 72 inches plus we've got the additional 6 inches here so we would need to add another 6 inches and that would give us 78 inches as an example. It's a level 4 question so I expect that you should be able to handle that on your own. Alright I will see you guys later. Gators!